Now, the new patriotic party has tasked electorates to critically compare its track record with the NDC to ascertain who is the best manager of the economy. The party says it will be a disaster and an indictment if electorates decide otherwise by voting for the NDC in the December polls. Ghana needs a stable and steady hand to transition us across these challenges. It needs a man of vision and conviction. It needs a man who, has, who is trustworthy and is credible. It needs a man of empathy and compassion. I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that that man is Nana Adodankwa Ekufwa. And when we talk, people say, ah, why is it that after you have said all your achievements, you are always mentioning your opponent? Because this election is about two people. It's about Akufuado and your mama. It's not about Akufuado anymore. We cannot go on and on and on as MPP, as if we don't have an opponent in this election. We do. Has called on the electorate not to be deceived by what by what it describes as the unrealistic promises of the NDC flag bearer, because he has nothing to offer to Ghanaians. According to Dr. Mustafa Hamid, Dr. Mustafa Hamid, John Mahama led NDC administration cannot justify what he is promising Ghanaians. Three years ago, you were the president of this country. Now you are going on as if nothing has happened, as if you just fell from the sky. You know, you know the way they say uh, Confanoche commanded a Bodhi school too, that fell from the sky. So God just created him afresh, molded him and dropped him. So he's come, hallelujah, he's the new Messiah, promising things, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. Debbie, Debbie, we won't allow you, not so fast. We are going to remind you that three years ago you were the president of this country. Ghanaians can see clearly that there has been a leadership of purpose and conviction in the management of COVID-19. And we thank God that Akufuado is president of Ghana at this time. It bears remembering also that in 2013, 2014, 2015, Ghanaians were dying in their hundreds of cholera. And the leadership of this country looked on helplessly, and I mean helplessly, of a disease that has been studied and it's known versus a leader who is confronted by a disease that continues to baffle scientists. And even though he's not a scientist himself, because of the soundness of reasoning, vision, conviction, is able to steer the Ghanaian people. You recorded the heaviest defeat ever in Ghana's electoral history. So really and truly, as Sir John said, may his soul rest in peace, what is it that you left at the Jubilee House?